name's Garth and I'm with my nephew Keith today and today we're going to put together the crate room cubby and just wanted to show you how to do that and all you'll actually need is just a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, you may need a, a rubber mallet because you've got to kind of keep things together and maybe do a little knocking if you got good physical strength, good forearms, you may be able to press it together with your, with your hands but if not uh, a little mallet and like I said, just a Phillips screwdriver. So well, the product, the pieces what we have are um, cams, posts, dials, and connector bolts. And so here you can see a cam, and if you notice, there's an arrow. So what you want to do is you want to put that arrow uh, facing the hole that's going to be on the top. And what you're going to do is tighten that on the post, and that's what will give you uh, the, the closure that you're looking for. So we're going to start with putting the base down and you'll notice that there's a channel on the back and so this will obviously uh, mirror up with the left and right side we want to uh, put that uh, align that and then underneath you'll see this is where we're going to put our cam so you have six cams that you're going to work with here these are already placed in you know just for the sake of this video so i'm going to start by getting the right side right in and what we're going to do you'll get these posts and you'll just place them in now your dials may be preset or um, or you may have to just put them in you know either way you know it's just a real simple uh, insert and so what we're going to do is what I find is easier to just put on the side put all the pieces on the side and then we're going to just insert it line up with the holes And like I said, if you have a little rubber mallet, you can just pump that or just use the back of your hand. So we'll do the right side, then the left side. Just line it up. Okay, and then you'll grab your, if you want to come on the back here, this is where you'll tighten it up. All six cams. And how far do you turn those? And it's just about a you know three quarter turn I'd say. You'll feel it; it'll tighten up where you can't turn anymore. And that's when you know you're snug. So you'll notice that all the channels are matching up. This is the back side, and this will be the front side. Where you have the finished edge band on the front. So the next step is to grab your uh, dividers, and what you want to do here is just kind of place them in. You'll see there's a specific channel. You may need two people just to hold it for you, um, but you could do it if you're just on your own. Okay, right now, what you want to do is just kind do, of. Do you need a hand? Sorry. You need a hand. Okay, so you can actually push these out a little bit, the left and right side just to give you a little room. Yeah, it's not gonna break anything down there. Don't obviously take all away, but just enough to work. And you'll notice here that we have kind of the second step done here. Um, the final, well, not quite the final, but just before we put the middle divider, we want to put the top on, okay? This way may get a little, a little tricky, but I'd start with the one side, just line it up. Line those holes up and just kind of give it a little pressure on the side so it doesn't fall down. And then we'll put it on the channel, the back channel, so these dividers kind of come together here. And then on this side, we'll just kind of line it up, put it together there. Okay, so now you have a square box. And what we're going to do is just tighten this up in the corners underneath all six cams and that should tighten everything together. All right, we're almost complete. Final step is just to put the middle divider. Now you'll notice uh, there's a raw edge and a finished edge. Uh, the raw edge will be towards the back. So you'll just 
slide this into these connector oh, bolts. Yeah. Four, four connector bolts that we'll match it up with here. And you just place that in. And then you'll take your Phillips. And again, you're just going to turn it. And you'll notice that there's like a little bracket that will come over and lock it in place. Okay, now your box is complete. But again, I said this was the final step. There's actually one more step. In the back, we're gonna have some screws here, 25 millimeter Euro screws, which look like this. I'll show you. And what we're gonna do, these are gonna be placed right on the middle divide on the back piece. All right, now if you have a second cubby and you've built it, we're gonna show you now how to attach the two pieces together. So you'll notice at the back of these cubbies, we've pre-drilled some holes for you uh, on the top pieces. There are four holes here, and what you're gonna use is take this plate, you're actually gonna get two of them with 25 millimeter Euro screws. So you're gonna place four here, and then four on the opposite end. So you'll just place this on like so, and screw these in. Just on the opposite end, and screw all four 25 millimeter Euro screws in, in it. And like all furniture pieces uh, that are over four feet high, we strongly recommend that you attach this to your wall. So then that way um, you are safe that there's gonna be no uh, tip overs or any accidents that could happen. So what we've done is we've provided you with two anchors. Um, and what these are gonna do is they're gonna help secure the top box to your wall. And what you have is a little metal uh, loop here. You've got an attachment point where you're gonna screw into the, into the box. And I can show you here on the back where that goes. Now when it comes to uh, attaching it to the wall, what you're going to need is a quarter inch drill bit, you know, depending on what wall you have, whether it's uh, uh, sheetrock or, or metal. Um, you're going to use these anchors, you're going to use a quarter inch drill bit, and what we what we'd recommend you doing is just lining it up and pre-attaching it. like so and what you'll do is use a pencil just to mark it on the wall and then drill your uh, inch by about half an inch you can go um, into the wall with a quarter inch drill bit and then place that in knock knock your anchor in and then you'll just use your screw you'll actually pull it apart to do that of course and uh, I'm not doing it right now but just showing you uh, you'll just screw that in this long inch one inch screw and then you're going to take the loop and you can see here you'll loop it first and then just connect it by uh, closing it up by threading it and that's it in installing your uh, tow tracks uh, with your divvy drawer so simply to do that you'll notice that there are two little ends here that you'll stick in and you'll fill it you just firmly clip that in place and that should be pretty snug. Uh, you'll notice that there are little bumpers on, on each of them and once you get your divvy drawer what you'll want to do is just make sure that that divvy drawer is sitting snug on the bottom of that track and there you have it. So we're glad you uh, could spend this time with us on this build today. Hope you enjoyed it and happy crafting. Any questions, please call our customer service team. We're happy to help you at the number below. Thanks.